Four young amnesiacs hold the fate of humankind in their hands. Their mission is to protect you from the rifters who want to control the human mind. They may appear to be harmless and self-absorbed, but they have astonishing paranormal powers and an invincible motivation to retrieve the secrets to their past lives, hidden deep in the parallel dimension of the Delta State. off my lunch, are you? You're the salami on rye. Is there a problem? No, no, it's just that uh, salami's so plain. <laughs> I would have thought you were more of a grilled vegetables on Versace kind of girl. Is that your professional opinion, Philip? Oh, <laughs> I don't do this for a living. No, this is, uh, this is more of a hobby, yeah. See? Secretly, I'm an eccentric millionaire who likes to get out and mix with the ordinary folk. <laughs> not, not that you're ordinary. I mean, I would never ever describe you as being ordinary. I mean, I, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know you. <laughs> and so, uh, what's it like working for a shrink? Oh, I don't work for a shrink. I am one. <laughs> Maybe I should see you. Professionally. Um, <laughs> I seem to have this mental block every time I see a beautiful psychiatrist. Thank you, Philip. Oh. And if you ever want to talk about anything, you know where I am. David? <gasps> Sorry. David? Serendipity. Luna, I saw David. Here we go again. He was on the street just a few minutes ago. I thought we were over this. Why are you being so negative? I thought you were my friend. I am your friend. Then support me here. I am supporting you. I just, I just don't think... You know what this means? There's someone out there that knows me. Not just in a Delta state, in real life. Someone knows me. We went through this. He's not real. Where have you been? You're an hour late. For what? We're gonna watch a movie, remember? Oh, I I'm sorry. I guess I forgot. This isn't lactose-free milk. Martin, I am not your mother. You offer to get the milk. Anyway, the point isn't the milk or the movie, Claire. It just seems like every time we talk lately, we end up snipping at each other. I know. I'm sorry. What's the matter? Nothing. No. No, this isn't nothing, Claire. This is something. And I want to know what it is. Maybe I just need some space. Space? Mm. Space for what? Where are you going? Out. Out where? Well, now you sound like my mother. You don't even know who your mother is. Look! Claire, you're driving me crazy. Well, maybe you should try backing off a little. Stop coming on so intense. Intense? Intense was good. You used to like that. Where 
is she going? Hey, man. Where do you think you're <laughs> going, huh? Come on, think guys. You're going I, I just want to get through. I don't think you're going nowhere, Pipsqueak. David? Claire? Thank God. Oh. Well, everyone was wondering what happened to you. How'd you find me? Well, I... I was searching everywhere. So tell me again about the very first day we met. Really? Tell me. <laughs> okay. All right. You were seven. Mm -hmm. I was nine. And uh, we met at school band practice. <laughs> you played tambourine. I played triangle. I think we were both pretty terrible. Mm. <laughs> um, um. <laughs> mm. Our first kiss. Claire. Yes? I want to take you home. Where have you been? Oh, it's you. Don't do that. You scared me. I thought you were... Claire, I figured that one out. She's not home yet? No. Look, are you sure you don't know what's going on with her? She's been acting so weird lately. Dinner! Oh, you bought dinner? Uh, well, I wouldn't say bought as much as I'd say <sighs> stuffed it in my coat before my boss saw. <laughs> Works for me. Guys, I had... An incredible day. I was making my deliveries, you know, minding my own business. When I walk into this office, right, and I see the most beautiful woman in the world. Claire's home. Ugh. What's that smell? Spiced dead animal meat. <sighs> you want some? No, thanks. I already ate. What are you so happy about? Jeez, Martin, you don't like it when she's happy. You don't like it when she's sad. She's seeing someone, isn't she? <laughs> don't ask me. You're seeing someone, aren't you? So like I was saying, I met this great woman today. She was hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she talked to me. I just wish I knew what's going on with her. Well, just give her some space. She'll tell you when she's ready. I just can't sit around and do nothing. We're a team. We count on each other. If one of us has a problem, it affects us all. It's not about the team, Martin. This is between you and Claire. Dude, did you ever think maybe you're using the mission as an excuse not to deal with the real issues in your relationship? Fine. There's another option. No way. We said we'd never use our powers against each other. Well, if she won't talk to me, what else am I supposed to do? My boss has been bugging me to get new music for the club. This should shut him up for about five minutes. <laughs> and I labeled them to make them easier to find. H-H-W-B-H-D. What's this? You're kidding, right? Hip-hop world beat house dub. What else? All right. Hey, oh. did you get fired again or something? Nope. <laughs> then why are you wearing your interview suit? Well, it's also my gourmet sandwich delivery suit. I owe it to my customers to look my best. All of your customers? <laughs> or is there someone special? 
So what if there is? <laughs> How do I look? Actually, you look really good. Okay, I'm out of here. Claire, we have to talk. Serendipity pub. Come in. Philip, you look so handsome. Ah, uh, what? This whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> Here is your lunch. I made it myself. Sit. Stay. So tell me about yourself. And no jokes this time. Uh, there's not much to tell, really. I, uh... I work at Sam's. Um, I live in an apartment with three friends. Oh, that can be tough. Do you all get along? Yeah, I guess. Uh, but lately, things have been kind of a mess. What do you mean, a mess? I, I, I don't know. I mean, everyone's jealous of each other. And, and there's this guy, Brody, and we... Brody is a roommate? No. No, no. He's definitely not a roommate, no. He's... I guess you could say he's our mentor. It's difficult to explain. Anyway, um... We don't know where he is, and I don't really know what's going on. You sound concerned. <laughs> Hello? <sighs> right, yes, no, I didn't forget. No, yes, 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 I'm on my way. Yes, thank you. I have to go. Um, I'm late with Mrs. Nozick's delivery. When her blood sugar goes up, she goes into this coma, and... Her cats start licking her face, and then she gets this rash, and it's just, it's really not pretty. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry for boring you with all my problems. You must be sick of that. Not at all. I meant what I said. Anytime you want to talk, I'm here. Yeah, uh, hi. Can I speak to Claire, please? I'm sorry. Claire's not in today. She called in sick. She called in sick? Would you like to leave a message? Uh, no, no, um, that's okay. I feel so weird. Like my real life is a dream or something. Uh, it is a dream, well, finding you again. So, you don't remember Anything? No. Okay, how about, how about the time when, when you broke your leg? Skateboarding and then we all signed your cast. But I want to. I want to remember everything. Okay, David, let's start from the beginning. Tell me how we met. <laughs> really? Hey, uh, Claire? Mm-hmm. Got a minute? Sure. What's up? I really think we need to talk. I know you weren't at work today. What are you talking about? <laughs> of course I was. I saw you in the pub. Oh. Who are you talking to? See, I, I was going to tell you. But there's really nothing to tell. Um, David and I haven't done anything wrong. We're just old friends. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. Who's David? See, the guy I was with at the pub. This is why I didn't want to tell you. I knew you'd get jealous. Claire, you weren't sitting with anyone. You were talking to yourself. No, I wasn't. I saw you. You were completely alone. There is no David. I know you're hurt. But David does exist. He's an old boyfriend, and he remembers me. He told me about high school. I was student council president. Claire, <laughs> I promise you, he wasn't there. Yes, he was. And I'll prove it to you. He gave me a picture of us when we were kids. And don't say a word about how fat I was. Here's that picture. Well, don't tell me I lost it. I need that picture! 
What am I going to do? Don't worry, don't worry. We'll find it. Brody, it's Martin. Again, please contact me. It's very important. What's up? I can't get a hold of Brody. I really need to talk to him. Oh, Martin, come on. Don't keep putting it off on Brody, man. You just gotta start paying attention to what she's telling you. Well, what is she telling me? It beats me. Look, you don't understand. Something is seriously wrong. I think she's finally cracking under all the pressure. What do you mean? She thinks she sees an old boyfriend. And she thinks he's actually talking to her, only I know he doesn't exist. Oh, man. Yeah, I know. I don't know what else to do. I was hoping Brody was going to give me some answers, but... I think I might know someone who can help. Hm. Here comes your little pet. Your sarcasm means nothing to me. Just because you lack the ability to actually enjoy your work. This constant quest for enjoyment is so... Human, I really hope you're not becoming infected. Don't worry about me. Philip? I think I need your advice. Um, One of my friends is talking to someone who doesn't exist. You mean, like an imaginary friend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess so. Maybe your friend should try a course of hypnotherapy. I've had great success. We could start right now. But she's not here. <laughs> Philip, sometimes when it's hard to talk about your own problems, you transfer your issues onto a, a friend. You think I'm talking about me? No, 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 it's, it's one of my roommates. She's really freaking everyone out. Does everyone include you? Yes, it includes me. I mean, ugh, I know I complain about them, eh, but they're my friends, and they're all I have, okay? Look, I can't go into details, but it's really, really important that we stick together. Slow down. Yeah, it, okay, I'll, I'll be right there. Is there a problem? A friend of mine is sick. One of your roommates? No, no, it's, it's the older guy. He, he looks after us. I hope it's not serious. I think I have to go. Uh, Philip, if there's anything I can do for your friend, I, I am a doctor. Thanks. It will be my pleasure. Where's Brody? That's what I'd like to know. You haven't heard from him? Well, then how do you know he's because sick? Because I had a vision of him, and he looked awful, and he was definitely in trouble. Has anyone heard from him? Not a word. And I've been trying all day. Looks like the right place to find someone who's sick. I don't know, you guys. This looks a little too normal to be the Delta State. <laughs> That's more like it.
this. This is just what happened in my vision. Someone's coming. What a pitiful way to die. And then again, what a pitiful way to live. How does the wolf find the weakened elk? Time to call the herd. No! What happened? I thought it was time I brought you back. Sven had you. You thought he had me. So it was like, what, a Delta State trick? No, nothing as random as that, my dear. Uh, my guess is that since Sven hasn't been able to destroy me, the next best thing would be for you to think he had, if only for a short while. So the whole thing was bogus? It never happened? Nope. Never happened. One salami on rye, hold the mail. You remembered. Come on. I'll never forget a sandwich. Well, you seem in a much better mood. I take it your friend got better? Well, yeah, he's okay for now. I mean, we're still trying to figure out what's wrong with him. Remember what I said. I'd be glad to help. Thanks. Is there something else? No, 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 of course not. Well, y yes, there is. Um, the time I spent here the other day was so great. I was just thinking how much better dinner would be. Not here though, like out at a, at a restaurant, you know, with me, like on a date. <laughs> Why, Philip? I mean, if, if I'm going to tell you my problems, you, you may as well get a meal out of it, right? Well, sure, a gal's got to eat. Okay, so tonight, 7 p.m.? Tonight will be fine. I hope you know what you're doing. Getting too close to these humans can be dangerous. Trust me, I've got it all under control. 